G'day guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Wildcard, thank you for following my contents and thank you especially to the guys who joined the, hit the join button down below and support me financially in a tough time like this, I really do appreciate everyone being here. So Super Rugby round 2, second day of the weekend, Brumbies versus a Fijian, uh, how do they call it? Fijian Endure? They, um, yeah, well this is almost a... You know, on the scoreboard, this is almost a perfect performance by the Brumbies. But the actualities, the Fijian Endura put up a huge fight. Uh, there were times the Brumbies were under a lot of pressure. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of execution for the Fijian Endura. Just tied it up a little bit. Could have seen them scored some points against, some more points against the Brumbies throughout the game. They, they truly did throw everything they had against the Brumbies as the... Uh, Jesse Moore got on the last two tries was basically the Fijian Endura basically thrown everything they had to try to score a try prior to these two last tries by Jesse Mogg and they basically like exhausted everything and was not able to hold out for the last two tries but really really good effort play with a lot of heart and overall I think the Fijian Enduros just need some more time to work on their set pieces to work on that, you know, some to try to really like work out what their strategy is, to try to improve on the, the stuff they're good at, to try to polish up the stuff they're good at, which is running, attacking rugby. The Enduras, despite only scoring three points, has more running meters than the Brumbies. So it tells you how good they are when they do have the ball, how, you know, uh, what, what the really good ball, ball runners that these players are. They were also, um, uh, what do you call it? The the, the Enduros were also um, just not a team that kicks a lot. So the kicking game was l lacking a lot. Maybe that's part of their strategy. Maybe that's just, you know, uh, something that they haven't been doing. But I think they probably can improve that kicking game a little bit more. The the Brumbies completely outkicked the Enduros, which puts them, I guess, in a difficult position to run the ball at times. And then also the Brumbies was also making a lot of errors as a result of the, the pressure that's been put on by Endurance. They were, the Brumbies conceded more penalties than Endurance. So just sheer amount of um, penalties that was given from the pressure from Endurance was really good to see as well. The penalty, uh, the goal kicking from Noah Lolaseo was horrendous. Um, I don't know what happened to Noah. He, I think he was permanently scarred from playing against the All Blacks last year. His kicking in Super Rugby last year was like one of the best. In terms of percentage, it was like 89, 85%, 90%. <laughs> ridiculously high kicking success percentage. And then he was thrown to the Wolves against the All Blacks. And that like permanently, I guess, disfigured him from kicking goals now. So he was, like, you know, we all remembered his horrendous performances against the All Blacks where he, he missed kicks right in front of the goalpost. And then um, today, he got two out of six conversions. So, yeah. I don't know what else to say, man. Two out of six goal kicks. Um, seven tries scored. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it was it was just plenty of, uh, yeah, sorry. I don't know what to say. Like, um, he just, he just, he just hasn't got it anymore. Um, and I'm not sure what's happening. How, how can a player win from, like, 90% kicking success to like, you know, 30% uh, kicking success. I, I, it's beyond my comprehension here. You, you let me know your thoughts. But this was a pretty piss poor performance by Noel Olaseo once again. His performance wasn't that, his kicking wasn't that great last week. But this week is just substantially worse again. Um, so let's have a look at the stats. Oh yeah, there was one other point where there was a, a, a potential yellow card. I thought... Again, this is Aussie referee. I think this is just Aussie referees failing. The the commentators try to make it sound like the referees made the right decision, but it is not the right decision. So there was one point where one of the Brumbies players ran into the Fijian Endura player. He kind of like jumped, like he was kind of like in the air a little bit as he ran the, the the Fijian player, and then he got flipped onto his back, like basically flipped 180 degrees. It's pure accident by the Endura player. And then the referee basically said the fact that he jumped is the result of him flipping. I'm pretty sure as far as 
um, the law is concerned for rugby, that is a yellow card. Even if he did jump, he you can't just flip the. You, you, even if he jumped, you should just. If he jumped, just you should just like, just you know, hold on to him, and, and put him back down. Or uh, in, in a situation like that, if he jumped onto you, you can't just you know because he jumped, you can't just flip him over your shoulders just for the fact that he jumped. Um, so yes, should have been a yellow card at least. Could you know, in, by international rugby rules, that should have been a red card. But the uh, the Aussie referees. I guess under the pressure of Australian rugby to make the game more competitive, uh, neglected to not give that a yellow card. Um, I don't know how to th how I feel about this. I mean, it's it's just like this is just gonna come back and hurt the Australian players later in the year. In my opinion, for the Wallabies, we're gonna th th we're gonna everyone's gonna complain. Uh, why did the Wallabies player get yellow card? Everyone's gonna complain about yellow cards and red cards. Because stuff like this is supposed to be yellow cards are not given in Super Rugby, and then when you go play international rugby, where the interpretation of the law is much less lenient, uh, we're just gonna end up hurting hurting the 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 team. We're gonna end up hurting the fans. I think this is a bad decision by the referee. The referee needs to keep up the international standard, even though. Yeah, it makes the spectacle a little bit better for the viewers without giving out yellow cards, but it's just, just you know, the, the rules are rules. You can't just bend the rules because, you know, you want the, yeah, uh, I, I just, I don't agree with the decision there. And I, I definitely don't agree with the um, commentators playing this up as the, the right decision when it's clearly, uh, by international law, it's not the, the right interpretation of, um, yeah, of the of the decision. So I'm a little bit disappointed by that. But um, anyway, so let's have a look at the overall match stats. Seven tries to the nil for the Brumbies. The Fijian Enduras really spent a lot of time pounding the Brumbies try line and was not able to go over again and again. I held up a couple of times. It was just huge effort and uh, not able to breach the Brumbies defense. Uh, you can see that the run meters for Enduras was actually higher than the Brumbies. 382 to 339. So yeah. Uh, so with so much run meters, the Brumbies are still, are still able to score a try on the Brumbies. It's just, um, yeah, a, a really, really interesting. 19 turnovers conceded, so to the Brumbies, 11. Uh, much better for the Brumbies there. Tackles made 76 to 16. Brumbies, 133 to 21. So the Brumbies had to make more tackles. And the Fijian Enduros, it's not like they were missing tackles. Uh, this just the Brumbies were able to execute their set pieces a lot better in, in, in certain areas, especially the rolling more. This is probably something that the Enduros can improve, in my opinion. Kicks in play, 8. So a lot of the run meters is the fact that they're not playing the kicking game, essentially. And um, that really puts them in a big, big disadvantage. They miss kicks. Two out of seven for uh, for Noel Alasio missed five conversions and then one penalty goal was done. So did I say that he missed six? Uh, I got the stats wrong before. Yeah, but that is uh, really really poor kicking for Noel Alasio. The uh, lineouts was a big of an issue for both teams, but the Enduros had more issue with lineouts issues with the lineout than the the. The Brumbies, the Brumbies had, you know, amateur mistakes as well early in the game. They had lineups where it wasn't straight. Again, amateur mistakes by Lockie Lonergan. Uh, but later on, the Enduros was under a lot of pressure. Just, just, you know, I think it's just an experience thing. The Brumbies has been playing as a team for many, many years now. And they've been working on those set pieces for a lot longer. And just really comes down to time and experience when it comes to these lineups. Scrum's pretty even for both teams. Penalties conceded, this is, again, something that... The, the Brumbies conceded more penalties as a result of the Enduras putting on a, a lot of overwhelming pressure in the Brumbies defense. I'm surprised the Brumbies were not able to get away without giving out a yellow card. Uh, there were times where I thought, especially towards the end of the second half, I thought the Brumbies was surely going to give that away. So yeah, overall, the, uh, the here the try has been scored. Lonigan gets a try at the start. Um, first half, three tries to the Brumbies. Tom Banks gets, gets a really good run, individual try, kind of like ran about 40 meters to score his try. Iketel gets a try on the 20, uh, 22nd minute. And then the first half kind of settled down a bit. 
Then Duros came back uh, with a bit of a bit of their own attack, finishing the first half with just a penalty just before the half time at 36th minute. And then second half started again. The games kind of uh, back and forth a bit. The Brombies were clearly had a, a bit of uh, has has an advantage over the Enduros, especially in those set pieces. But the Brombies were not able to execute a lot of the times. Tom Wright gets the first try on the board on the 46th minute, runs into the corner finally after uh, a, quite a bit of work. Valentini gets a second try on the 54th minute, and then the game kind of stalled. Uh, Fijian and Duros really turned the game around in the last about 20 minutes or so. Really put on the squeeze on the Brumbies, try to get that try on the first try on the board against the Brumbies. And then they literally threw the kitchen sinks at the Brumbies. Uh, the Brumbies were given repeated warnings by the referee for yellow, for uh, repeated penalties. And then eventually, I think the uh, Enduro basically threw everything they could. And then they would, they, I think they did get over the line, but they were not able to score the try. It was held up. Brombies eventually gets out of jail. Uh, the counter attack on the Brombies, the uh, Fijians were just too tired. They just literally given everything to try to score that try. And then so Jesse Morg coming off the bench, being quite fresh, scores two tries in the last five minutes. Uh, in both, one on the left hand corner, one in the right hand corner. And uh, easy as that, the Brombies gets, finishes the game uh, 42 points to three. Yeah, huge win for the Brombies. And uh, big, big, big effort for the Endurers. Just, I think the team just need, needs more time. It's their debuting season. A lot of the players hasn't been playing with each other. And keep in mind, the Brombies has played with, the, the, has the same team for a, yeah, a number of years now. And they've been drilling a lot of those set pieces, you know, year after year after year against the best teams in the world. Um, you would expect them to be executing those line outs, those moves a lot better than the Fijians did. Um, so yeah, this is the game. Let me know what you think or you, let me know what your thoughts, guys. Uh, do you think the Fijians gonna pull out a couple upsets before the end of the year? I feel like there could be a chance for them against maybe the Melbourne Rebels. We'll have to see how that goes. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I do really appreciate you being here. And uh, see you guys a bit later, especially later tonight for the Six Nations. Cheers.